All right, everybody, let's get Mario back on his adventure. So I know they said that you can do it in any order, and maybe there's some allure to that. I know we broke what I'm about to say on the first level as we went for the Under the Moat star, but I'm going to keep it simple because, again, like he said, you go to course 15, it may kick your butt. So, um, again, no hints, but we do have, hear the little glowing, so... See. Oh, he's gone. I thought I heard the little glowing noise. Oh, God. Actually. It could always be above us. So once the Womp King was defeated, the Womps and Thwomps moved out of this fortress. Now it's just left here to rot, but there's a lot of the green stars lying around. I just love how he, you know, visits the lore. Alright, so, I may not have actually heard one. There is one. I don't know how you get those. If you're wondering, I'm coming straight off the last episode. So, if anyone has commented how to do that, I haven't had time to look at it. I tried to keep it going but all right let's see oh an actual cannon this must mean he doesn't think you could get any of the stars using the cannon which i don't know that's good and bad i guess let's see where that takes us and he at least got us up here i'll give it that but that's been the only star we've been able to find Gotta at least assume there's something up here. This level isn't exactly massive. I'm kind of surprised. What should be like on the the point? No, it doesn't look like it. Where is it though? Like I can hear the shiny noise when we're taking this. Right here, there's a shiny noise. I don't know where that would be. Anything in here? So we've just found the one. I would not be surprised if he makes you dive down off the side and land perfectly. Yep, there's that. Well, we might as well. This one, this one doesn't actually feel like there's any skill involved. You just have to line it up. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. Well, that's something. <laughs> at least at least we've been able to find some by camera angles. Because that bomb op showed us the one all the way up on the top in the last level. And this camera angle has shown us this one. I don't know why I'm trying that. I don't know if I can do it that way. All right, so again, I don't know how much skill is actually involved in this. It looks like it's just, yeah. So I'm enjoying that it's it's just a game of hide and seek for the most part, which is really what I'm here for. Some are gonna be hard, some we're gonna have to use our noggin, but a lot of these are like, can you find the star? A lot of these have just been, can you find the star so far? I would say only I don't know where my skill actually falls because i can do the mario 64 you know vanilla game oh shoot i wish i had known that i can do the vanilla game fairly well like not speed running or anything like that but i know some of the tips and tricks and some of the secrets 
and if the game had a working functional camera or maybe if i wasn't so clueless with it i would have a lot easier speaking of camera <sighs> but uh so far obviously the one that we skipped from bomb out battlefield i don't even know if it's harder if i just don't know how to do it and then uh the one at the very start of bomb out battlefield has probably been the hardest it would be the hardest for me to go recreate and redo the three here have just been can you find them so he did not keep the warps in the last level There are warps right here, right? I don't know. Anything. Yeah. Okay, so that's... I'm not saying these feel uninspired. But... These have just all been fall off the ledge. With varying degree of difficulty. So there's only one here left that I'm going to go for. Because I don't know if I'm going to fool with the... Uh... I don't know if I'm gonna fool with that one underneath the platforms. I may spend a life or two trying it out. Oh wait, we hear the uh Oh, is the floating garden above us? Okay, so there's that. I really don't know how you would get that, guys. My extent with playing ROM hacks also is not too great. I streamed some of star road and i had fun with that i got pretty far in it but uh i didn't beat it or anything hmm what happens if you get 100 coins in these levels or even where the rest of the blue coins So we hear the uh, the glowing, so it's got to at least be around here. Or or maybe it still glows for the, the old stars you've already got. That could be it. Let's read it. Maybe I'll talk about the noise. For a little bonus challenge, I've moved the blue the location of the blue coin spawned by the blue coin switches in each level to make them more challenging. If you want a quick challenge, try getting all blue coins spawned by the switches. Every level in the original game with a blue coin switch has this extra bonus challenge for you to try. But be warned, these challenges are pretty difficult. Okay. That's fair. They could add one right here. You can't overly see the bottom very well. If this takes me forever to find, I probably will just cut it out. I really don't know how you would do that. I don't know how you would do any of the ones like that. Which is why I was talking about ROM hacks. If in a ROM hack there's one that takes advantage of that, so it's like, oh, how'd you not know about that? That's why. Okay, so there's something, there's still that noise right there. Oh, I just saw it. What in the world? How in the world? Oh! Oh. Oh. Wait. Oh. Okay, I dig it. I dig it. Well, we're done for here. For, we're done with here for now. That's what I'm trying to say. I think that went pretty fast. We may try the next level. Did you know that if you're close to a green star, you'll hear those twinkling noises? While well, searching, it's definitely a good idea to keep an ear out. Yeah. So, we may try our hand at Snowman's Land, which sounds like it's going to be fun. I like Snowman Land in the original game. Or is this Cool Cool Mountain? Am I calling it Snowman's Land when it's Cool Cool Mountain? I am, aren't I? Ignore me. I suspect all, if not most, are in here. 
could certainly be wrong, but... I don't know what I'm expecting, honestly, because this thing goes so fast. Yep. Okay, well, one has been identified. If I need to get out of lack of two cam. I'm trying to slow myself down. Can't see anything. I guess I'll just die then. Eh, whatever. So, do we try to get the one on the slide? I don't know how tough it's going to be. But we'll give it a try. Alright. So, how do we want to do this? Shoot, not like that. That's for darn sure. Alright, we'll give it a good old college try and then... Because I don't want this level to take too long either, I may just cut till we get it. Because finding it's going to be the fun part. In my opinion. I don't necessarily look forward to having to actually obtain a lot of them. Alright, here we go. Okay. I got very lucky that that was just a bonk and you got it. Alright, once more for fun. Oh, that was star number one. Part of my problem is the slide condenses the level. Whereas going, like, looking around the whole world is so big. I miss that completely. I want to say that I heard... Oh my gosh, Mario. I want to say that I heard... Something while we were right there, but you never know. All right, I like to check the cannons. All right, this one's actually got its cannon. This may help us get a view of the level too. I don't even remember what exactly is up here. Not that we'd make it anyway. Shoot. I would have had in mind. So, looks like, because I understood why they kept the cannons for Womp's Fortress. Everything was just hanging off the ledge, right? So, that made sense. Play. I'll see if I see him. I mean, part of the biggest problem is I just don't know where they are. I wouldn't be surprised if there's one green star hanging off the ledge. Yep. Exactly the spot I thought it would be in, too. I'm not saying that makes me good or anything like that. Just, I'm starting to pick up on his little tricks. Right, let's hop back in there. I doubt that was star number two, but you know, let me know. It was star number three. It also confirms that some are going to be out in the main world and some are going to be in this um, slide. Now, I'd like to think if we can find star number two, that would almost assuredly tell me that was the only star in the slide area. Okay, I thought I heard the glow. Seems I did not. Why should there be a star right there? That would have been something. I'm wondering if there'll be one in Wall Kicks of Work. And we can't take the shortcut. God, I feel like he has made the ice so much more slippier. Alright, so I'm going to check over here. Cannon stress me out. Like, the very first episode of my Mario 64 Let's Play is I don't trust these cannons. Oh my gosh. 
All right, let's just check around the edges. It appears we're good. Okay. Not hearing anything other than the sound of jingle bells. Okay, now we hear something. So there'll probably be something. It'll probably just be cruel. Cruel. All right, there's two ways you can get this. Okay. Yep. On account of I don't see it, I'm going to guess that it's very cruel how you do this. Golly, did I mention that the ice... Ah, golly. Okay. Say a prayer. Okay. They're not that bad. It's just... It's near impossible to gauge for me, and... That was star number six. Okay, that makes sense. They're nearly impossible to gauge, and if I get it... If I miss it, then it's like... I have to redo that whole darn thing. Alright. Not hearing any... Glittering noise. I've checked most of my... Uh, places I thought they'd be, because... They've pretty much been everywhere I thought they were gonna be. The three that I have up to this point... Okay, I was like, maybe he'd hide one right there. That would be dubious. Copious amounts of dubious. Alright. There still might be another one on the slide. In fact, the more, the longer I play, the more I think... That was a weird shadow. Alright, where are you? Ah, uh, yes. I don't know. I'm starting to get a uh, starting to get a knack for finding these guys. I'm gonna guess that was four or five, whichever one I was missing. And that star number two is probably inside the slide level. Yeah, I still don't know where star five would be then. Yet, but because those two were down at the bottom, I'm trying to cheat, see if I see anything. We're gonna take the whole slide down. And, uh, see if we see anything, because we... I heard the glimmer and got excited, and then I remembered. Darn you, camera! I've heard no glimmering, and here we are at the end. Um... Not sure if we can actually. Can we? Can we? Can we not? It's like this whole level is just iced over. Okay. Well, you know, if star number two isn't in the slide. Uh. Well then, color me intrigued. I'm not sure where it would be at this point. Um, how many more places do I even know to look? Because uh, at this rate, I don't know. Check it. Oh, there we go. Maybe this will be number two. They still scare me. I know they don't look that bad. That's star number five. But I'm going to call it here. I'm not going to go back to get star two in the next episode because I'm wondering if it's just in the slide and I just, I mean, I have to spend way too long to look for it. So in the next episode, we'll dive into Jolly Rogers Bay and the aquarium. So I will see you guys in that episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'll see you then.